Hey guys, welcome to my personal channel. Today we are going to be doing Q&A stuff. You guys submitted questions for me to answer on Twitter and Instagram. I appreciate you doing that very much so. And without further ado, let's get right into it. I would have to say any video where we have talent coming on, like OMG it's Firefox, Smosh Games, a Zombie Unicorn, like any time that I can work with people, I love, I love people. I love meeting people, I love talking to people, I love playing with people. So when I have someone in studio or at the mansion for mansion game night, those are the funnest times. Like just riffing off of each other, bonding over a shared interest in a game. Like when I filmed with Dodger and we talked about how we both loved Chrono Trigger, our favorite games of all time. It's, I had no idea that it was her favorite game and to find out that her favorite game was my favorite game was just like, dude, you're like cool now. Well, I mean, it's not that she wasn't cool before, it was just like, she's even cooler. Aside from gameplay videos that we film with other people, I love being able to do the sketches that we do. Coming up with an idea for a sketch, writing the script, filming it, being able to be funny and think of really creative ways to talk about an idea or like, Oh hey, did you realize this thing in this game is like this? Oh ha ha ha, that's funny. We should do something with that. Okay, you know, like and and then just deciding to do it. That's I mean, just making something that you imagine in your head come alive in video form is just so awesome. I love that I'm able to do that. I'd obviously go for the new Legend of Zelda game. I have been waiting forever for that game and I'm so excited about it, but I haven't really been excited about specifically getting $3,000. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm excited when I get paid, but it's not, it's not what drives me. Money's not what drives me. Well, my biggest fear is being betrayed by someone I love or being lied to by someone that I love. And not even like a, oh yeah, I totally took out the trash. <laughs> not those kind of lies. Those ones are whatever. But it's like the ones where it's like, I'm gonna tell you this deep, dark secret that nobody else knows. Please don't tell anyone. And then they tell someone and then you find out, even if it's in your best interest, like I just hate that betrayal. Especially without permission. Like it's like, talk about it with me first. Just be upfront, be honest, like honesty is the biggest thing. So if I had to put that in a monster, I'd have to say it was a big green scaly monster with the face of whichever loved one, you know, did it. And then they'd have like weird scythe hands that would cut deep because that's what lying does to me. <laughs> I just don't think people should lie. I don't like liars. Not that I'm promoting, you know, white lies is, you know, whatever. Like just don't lie. Be honest to your friends, be upfront. You have nothing to hide. If they really love you, they won't walk out of your life because of you having done something in your past. And if they do, then screw them. Like why, why keep them in your life if they don't accept you for who you are? So. I think, well, I mean, a, a lot of animes are really good, but if I had to, to voice a character, I know that it's super cheesy and a lot of people like this anime, but I liked it before it was cool. Bleach. I love Bleach, or at least before it got hit with the filler stick. I really love Nell 2. Uh, Nell 2 is one of my favorite characters in any anime. Um, Yoruichi is one of my favorite characters, especially because she could transform into a black cat that can somehow talk like a man. I don't get it, but I feel, in my personal opinion, I feel like I've got a really good cutesy anime girl voice. Oh hi For me personally, I actually draw a lot of influence from artists that I know personally. My friend Mike Marino, he's an amazing artist. My friend Josh Singh, Chelsea Hughes, she's are also known as Inea. People who I know personally who are very talented, their work means so much more to me. And to see people that I care about make use of these amazing talents that they have is just so inspiring to me. So for them to either pursue a career or even just for fun, make a cosplay, just to watch that stuff happen is just, I love doing that. I love supporting that. And you can ask Ainea, I support all of her, all of her commissions. I've commissioned her so many times to make me all of the earrings, the nerdy earrings that I wear, the Legend of Zelda, I want me mostly the Legend of Zelda, the Legend of Zelda, the Metroid, the Pokemon earrings and necklaces and really cool stuff that she makes. She makes those all by hand just for me and I love them so much. The earliest gaming memory I have is of course playing Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo. My brother let me play it once when I was like five years old and 
I don't know why, but for some reason I would just replay that first sequence when you would have to go down into the dungeon and save the princess and then sneak through the, the sewers and go up to the cathedral. I remember doing that and I could do it from memory without even having to like think about any of it because I did it so many times when I was younger. That's probably the one memory that I have that just recurring in my head just plays over and over again, the earliest memory I have. One of the best parts about being a YouTuber is the YouTube community, and that's the viewers and the content creators. I've made a lot of amazing new friends in the last couple of years, and not just like, oh yeah, okay, we're friends, but I mean like meaningful relationships. YouTubers are the most genuinely nice, awesome people, most grounded, down-to-earth people that I have ever known. After being exposed to the Hollywood industry, like it's, it's such a huge difference. You know, in Hollywood, it feels like, you know, like everybody's got an ulterior motive and everybody wants to use you and there's, you know, ladder climbers and people, you know, wanting to take advantage. But in YouTube, it's just like, we're friends and we just so happen to make videos. I think that that's the coolest thing ever. The amount of friends that I've made in the last couple of years is just mind blowing. And I can't believe that, you know, I get to surround myself with such amazing, talented people all the time. And it's just, ugh. if I think about it too much, I might cry. I've always been a fan of just pencil and paper. I mean, that's how it all started for me is pencil and paper, but pen and paper, I mean, that's solid lines and, and doodles in my comic style are just my go-to. That's how I like to do it. I think right now I own maybe four pairs of sweatpants and like three of them are Nintendo or Legend of Zelda themed ones. If I could wear sweatpants all the time, I think I would. I like to be comfy. I really like to be cozy. One of my favorite things to do is like, you know that super relaxed feeling after you get out of the shower? I love to take that relaxed feeling and just go lay in bed. Like you're warm from the shower, you're soft cause you're clean and the nice cozy sheets is like perfect but you can't fall asleep because then that'll mess up your day and then you won't get a lot done because you're sleeping. Zelda is the reason that I'm a gamer today. It was the first game that I ever played. It's the, the one franchise series that I always go back to. I always play every leg of that franchise. It has impacted my life because it's such a staple to who I am. I mean, it's kind of what holds me together. I mean, I'm a Nintendo girl. I love Legend of Zelda. It's the best. I have a tattoo right here of the Triforce. It's... <sighs> Funny enough, I met Charles when he was invited to the mansion as a vlogger to cover the Selfless movie. I was hired as a playmate to host the event to give tours and be like, here's this at the mansion, check this out. It wasn't because I was affiliated with YouTube in any way, it was just I was hired as a playmate to, you know, like Vanna White the mansion. Like, here's this, here's this, hi, how's it going? How are you? Pictures, pictures, you know, that whole thing. Charles is a very open and accepting person and so when he talked to me, he didn't talk down to me because I was a playmate. He was very accepting of who I was. Just like such a genuine person. And when genuine personalities meet and connect, it's just, it's a friendship for life. Charles and Ali are probably the first influencers that I've worked with who were really outspoken about how amazing it was that Playboy had playmates that were gamers. Charles was like, they're so cool. They're awesome. You should check out their stuff. You should work with them. He was the first person to connect us with a lot of people that we now work with because he believed in what we do. And Ali and Charles are by far my favorite couple ever. They are the coolest, just the sweetest people. I wish that I could hug them all the time. They're so awesome. I love them so much. Well, that's a cat. I love kitties. <laughs>I hate to sound super PC master race, but it would have to be my computer. I know that it's not technically a console, but with the innovation of emulators, I could play almost any game that I wanted to. And most games that are being made right now are on Steam anyways, so, and then they're a lot prettier than they are on the console, so I'm gonna have to go with that. I know that it's a real, it's a cop out, but I'm gonna have to choose that. 
I'm not one to dwell on bad things or negative things or death. I like to talk about life. So in a way, I guess I could talk about how I was almost not born. My mom likes to tell this story to boyfriends and friends and significant others about how, for starters, my parents were both using two forms of contraceptives when I was conceived. And then on top of that, I was also born premature. So I just wanted to live. I was like, yes, I must live, I must fight. I must live and do things because of things and stuff. And so I did and here I am, yay. Hi, I can do a really good Navi. Hello. Of course I love you guys. You guys are awesome. I'm really glad to be a part of your community and I appreciate you letting me. I think I would go for 10 chicken-sized zombies because that makes more sense. Because then I could just like kick them. <laughs> you just kick those zombies. Give them what for? I suffer from panic attacks, so there was a while where anytime I saw a spider, it would cause me to just have the worst panic attack that I've ever had in my entire life. So much to the point I couldn't even be in the same room if there was a spider there. It was a very short window of time where I was really afraid of spiders, but what brought it on, and I don't, it has no correlation, but I started being afraid of spiders after this one night when I was laying in bed and there was a towel draped over my door, which is like after I get out of the shower, I just draped my towels over my doors and I just had this super, like it was giving me a crazy panic attack, just the towel. I was like terrified of the towel and it was giving me the craziest panic attack. Fun fact, actually not so fun fact about panic attacks, they, it's just like this unexplainable fear. Your heart's racing, you can't breathe, you can't think. To look back on it now and go, oh yeah, I was horribly terrified of a towel. Now I feel really dumb, but then it just felt like I was going to die it was just the worst and so I had that one instance where I was definitely afraid of that towel and then I had a really irrational fear of spiders for a while and then I got over it I was just like Pam you will not be afraid of spiders and then I wasn't and I didn't and now I'm not afraid of spiders in fact whenever there's a spider I'm always the person that and you guys are probably gonna freak out about this but I will scoop it up in my hand and like take it outside I'm not afraid of spiders anymore I mean, I grew up in Kansas. There's like bugs and creatures and critters and all kinds of fun stuff out there. And plus, I had a lot of fun playing outside. So, you know, so what? They're gonna bite you, like whatever. Like there's no reason to be afraid. They're as afraid of you as you are of it. I do have siblings. I am the youngest of four. Um, I have my sister Megan, who is two years older than me. I have my sister Trish, who is five years older than Megan, seven years older than me. And I have my oldest brother, Mikey, who is two years older than Trish and nine years older than me. Man, that's really tough. I don't know who who I'd want to play. I guess it would just have to be Bayonetta. I think I could do a pretty good tracer. Cheers, love! Cavalry's here! If I'm thinking about this realistically, I would have to say humans because we are the species that dominates this planet. So, you know, realistically. But in my head, cats win because cats are adorable and they're the best and they're so cute and cuddly and they also have claws and they have teeth. Especially if we're going numbers based, like if it was the exact number of cats and the exact number of humans and cats overpowered the humans with their claws and then get all infected with all the scratches and the bites and the rabies and they're like, I think, yeah, that's, yeah, that sounds about right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate those who submit questions. If you'd like to answer some of the questions, please feel free to do so in the comments section down below. If you also have ideas for stuff that you want me to cover on my personal channel, do that down below as well. And if you are implored to do so, click like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later and stuff.